I feel like before even creating the book, you want to have your design of the cover ready and all that. So I was brainstorming on my handy dandy iPad, just writing down some titles for my Confident Women book. I was thinking maybe time for a me journal or me time journal or just me, you know, like something cute, simple and like get the point. All right, so these are the titles I came with. I think I'm gonna go with time for me, maybe add maybe like a clock and like a figure of like a girl on the bottom. On Canva, I'm gonna add whatever font they have on Canva, time for me. Just have the clock in the background. This is just to show you guys what I'm thinking. A silhouette in the back. And then maybe I could incorporate like one of my, maybe like a faceless drawing. I got a couple faceless drawings on here that I might just put on the bottom. So it's just like maybe showing her hairstyle. Something like, uh, after scrolling, I came across this one I might use for my cover that I created. And that and probably just have it say, time for me right here. And then probably with a clock. Like I said, the idea is a little different, but maybe something like this will be my cover. So now that I have an idea of how I want my cover to look, we are going to go to the Amazon KDP calculator so we can calculate the exact numbers to create this hardcover six by nine book. I typed in KDP cover calculator. I'm gonna click the first link and then we're gonna fill out the info. So this time it is a hardcover book. The interior is gonna be black and white. Paper type is gonna be on white paper. Obviously left to right, measure units, and inches interior trim is going to be six by nine the page is 150 now calculate dimensions <gasps> omg so here is the calculator just gonna tell you all the dimensions all right i'm going to download the template to my laptop and there we go we're gonna put these dimensions into canva 14.102 and then the 10.417, you're gonna put this dimension in Canva um, to create your front cover and back cover. So we're gonna go to create a design. We're gonna put custom size. So make sure before you put your custom sizes in, make sure you change it to inches first because it will just change all the numbers all over again, so. And I'm gonna click create design. All right, now we're gonna upload the template that we had Save to our computer or device. Here it is. Open it to camera and there it is. I'm gonna enlarge it. Now I'm gonna just lower the opacity of it just so I could see it but not really see it, you know? Now for the front camera, I'm going to add my custom made tune. I'm just gonna open it a little bit. All right, so this is what I have so far. It's gonna be say, I'm gonna say time for me and I think I'm gonna put 